Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are on to our Terraform Cloud uh, follow-alongs. Now, we already did Terraform Cloud uh, version control system earlier than I thought we were going to do, so I'm going to remove it from the list. And what we'll do is focus on permissions and maybe the API tokens and things like that. So what I want you to do, and I've got some old tabs open here, but I'm going to make my way over to uh, terraform.io, and I'm going to go log into Terraform Cloud here. And I don't think I've ever done this, but I can upgrade to the trial account because the thing is, is that when we are in our account here and we're trying to look at uh, permissions and we're not using force and locking anymore, I might just keep that around for a little bit. But if we were to go to our user settings here, we go to organizations, um, that might not be a very good example. I guess I wanted like the organization settings here, which would be Maybe here, yeah, up here. And so, you know, when we go to our teams and our users, our users, everyone's being added as an owner. We don't have like granular permissions and that's because we'd have to upgrade. And so I figured this would be a good opportunity for me to just kind of upgrade to show you those uh, more detailed uh, role-based access control permissions, just so you know where they are. So I'm gonna go to the upgrade now and notice that we're on the free plan and also take note because um, later on in the course I talk about pricing or we've already already crossed it. But notice that we have a team plan and a team and governance plan. This one's at $20 and this one's at $70. So, you know, this is not something that's reflected, at least not right now, on the Terraform website. And so it just looks like there's a team and governance plan for $20 and this middle one's missing. The key difference here is this one has send no policy as code. But you can see on the free plan, we are able to do team-based stuff. But let's go switch over to the trial plan. I'm going to see if I can do this without entering a credit card in. So here it says you're currently on trial plan. I didn't have to enter anything in, that's really great. And so that means now I have all these team management options. So if I go over to team management, um, I can actually go ahead and create some teams. Uh, so I'll just say like developers, okay. And so now I have all these options. So we, we can say this person, if someone's in this team, they're allowed to manage policies, they're able to do that. Uh, a, Visible team can be seen by every member or we can keep them secret. We can generate out um, team API tokens, which I guess we could just like cover this as we do it, but notice we can go here and that generates out that token that we can use. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that token. Um, so nothing super exciting there. You know, it's not like that complicated. If we want to uh, set things on the workplace, now if we go back to workplace or workspaces here, and now we have team access, and notice I can go to add team uh, permissions here and we can say select this team for their permissions. And so these are these uh, pre-built ones in. Um, so we have read, plan, write. So these are those three predefined ones that we talked about previously. And then we have down here like assign permissions for the admin of a workspace. We are able to set customized permissions. So if we toggle this, um, we should be able to do it. I mean, this looks like it's the same thing. No, I guess it's more granular. So here, I guess we have our granular permissions that we can set. So for runs, we can do read, plan, or reply. Lock or unlock a workspace. Send no locks, things like that. It's not super complicated. If we want to drain out API tokens for, uh, well, there's the organizational one, there's the Teams one, and then there's the user one. So. If we go to the organization, we can see that we can generate out one here. So I can say create an API token. So there it is. Just go ahead and delete that. And if we go back to our teams, we did this earlier, but we can generate one here. And then if you want to generate one for your user, it's probably under user settings. Yeah, so we generate out tokens there as well, okay? Um, so, I mean, again, there's not a lot to talk about here, but um, yeah, so I guess that really covers permissions and API tokens, okay? Okay, so that finished uh, deploying there, and so we can see our resources have been created, but one thing that uh, we didn't set was the prefix. I'm actually uh, interested to see that that worked properly, but what I could do is say prefix, and then do an underscore here, and I don't know how that would affect it. And this actually happened over in this repository here. I'm actually using a hyphen, so I'm gonna just change that to that.
Might have to do a terraform in it there, migrate the state. So that was a complete mistake on my part, but I guess my thought was that I thought I had to have, um, this is still on main, and I guess we never really set up a production branch, but yeah, so now when we have the prefix in, it's actually gonna prompt us for the other one. So the currently selected workspaces are default, does not exist, and so dev is showing up, and notice that we can't deploy to main. So I think the thing is, is that if we wanted a production one, we would just create that workspace, and then it would reflect here so the, the way you make uh, multiple workspaces here would actually have to make them all. So we'd have to make a VCS Terraform prod. And I'm very certain that it would just show up here and then you would select the number that you'd want. Uh, though what's interesting is the fact that we are in the dev branch and we have to say, oh, I want to deploy the dev one. So that's kind of a, a little bit of a caveat there, but I guess there's not really any way around it. But I mean, this pretty much you know, explores what we need for um, multiple workspaces with Terraform Cloud. And we did the remote ones and uh, we're all good. So there we go. I guess the last thing here we should probably do is just clean up. So if we go to Terraform Dev here, uh, we're gonna go down to Destruction and we'll run a Destroy Plan here. Okay. And once this is all done, you know, you can go ahead and just delete these repositories. And notice this one is, it has a private lock on it. So, oh, cause it's actually running right now. So it's being locked. So yeah, there we go. So that's it.